everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Witcher Wednesdays. Oh, so much has happened. Seriously, though, last time... Actually, you didn't see last time. I had just finished recording an episode where I was going around the sewers. As you may remember, we're looking for stones for Calcstein, these Sephiroths. And I was convinced there was one down in the sewers. I spent an hour uh, trying to find it. And after realizing it... Uh, well... I'll be frank. I, I looked at some... Ex I did some external research, if you know what I mean, folks. Uh, <laughs> uh, game facts, how you doing? Anyway, so... <laughs> apparently, uh, there wasn't one in the sewers, but there is one in the swamp here. And we will proceed to talk to the master of the bricklayers, which actually we haven't done. We talked to her, but we didn't talk to her about... Um, uh, what we should have talked to her about with Calcstein. Indeed. Oh my gosh. If you've never seen this show and you haven't tuned out already because I'm just complaining and talking over the dialogue. <laughs> uh, um, I can pay no more. We play The Witcher on Wednesdays on the Storm Gaming Alliance YouTube channel, of which you should subscribe to if you haven't already. Um, That's enough. I'm clicking through this. Um, She's asking us to take care of drowners. I, I tested this out before I hit record because I was so frustrated trying to find these things just to make sure because I don't want anybody getting bored. So it will show us here that um, we have to go take care of the drowners and then it will go through and say that we already did. Do we have to talk to her again? Get out of here, boy. Yeah, um... I've killed the drowners. Killed the drowners. There we go. All right. Uh, did I say anything else? Did I finish that thought? If I didn't, uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm a guy on the internet who plays The Witcher on Wednesdays on a channel called Storm Gaming Alliance, of which there are many people on the channel who make great things. The fact that you took time to watch this video, oh, it means the world to me. <laughs> There you go. The She's now talking about, uh... How dare you? Those names offend the lords. Yeah, I, I believe they worship the drowners here. Man, he just slammed the door in her face. Uh, good thing she is apparently an apparition who can walk through doors and disappear. Do do not go in there. He saw that too, man. He's like, what? what is, what's going on? Good call, man. We're going to walk away. All right, folks, here is where things get crazy. We have to put stones inside of obelisks. Obelisks. But the thing I don't know... Oh, please don't be an invisible wall right here. Sweet! Um, drowner over there. I'm not sure if it matters which stone we have to put where. Oh, man, would that suck. Are these stones called different things? Please don't. Oh, no. There are different stones for different things. Oh, no. Wait. Are they the same things? Yizareth. All right. We're, we're good at this. Oh, it will only let you put the right thing in. The game knows I'm... Sick. Uh, it's cool. Um, yeah, the game knows that I'm a moron. Actually, I believe that all of these stones are marked. Is that not right? Mage's Tower, Sweet, Campfire. Where the heck are we? Oh no, are the obelisks obeliskies? Are the obeliskies not marked? Oh! There's there's one. There's ten of these sons of bitches. Alright, there's one right back there. Let's just go get this. Wow. Is this is this worth filming, honestly? I mean, if you're watching this thing to figure out how to do the quest, I won't cut it out. So for that, like, one person who is uh, like, man, let me see where all these obelisks are. Nah, he says the same thing each time. Um, yeah, this, this one's for you. This one's for you. What song is that? Fish. 
Oh no, somebody help me out. What's what song is that? We're going the wrong way, aren't we? Is there something over here? Novelisk? No. Cave? There's an obelisk. And this one's for you. Oh, that's going to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yes, that's it. Uh, oh, boy. Oath obelisk. Sweet. Yeah, um, so... Oh, the drown hours. I think I might just run away from them. I don't care about drowners right now. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever, Geralt. Keep on talking. Hey, there's one right here. Um, I was going to say about the, oh, last episode that isn't going to air. This, this episode that you're watching right now should be labeled part 22, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just... It, I was just so bitter the whole time, and I had mentioned a couple times, like, wow, this is a really different kind of episode. Like, the caffeine was wearing off. Um, you know, I was just tired. I had recorded, and like, an episode before that one as well. I just wanted to um, move along with the head of steam I had. And, um, yeah, it was... It was kind of bad. Oh, man, this sucks. This really, really sucks. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually glad that the last Sephiroth was not down in the swamps because... Uh, or down in the uh, sewers. Because otherwise that would have been a very awkward episode to publish and a waste of time. So... All that aside, we're here now. We're in the swamp. We're placing stones inside of obelisks. Something else that was funny. When I was doing my external research on where to um, find the last stone, I saw a lot of... Oh, it's for Jean-Pierre? No. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> I watched that clip back of... Uh, what episode is it? 20? Where I'm like, you know what? Actually, we will get these wolf pelts. Um, what was I saying? I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get these goddamn wolf pelts for John Pierre. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm freaking going to do? I'm going to get these goddamn wolf pelts for John Pierre. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, <laughs> I was like editing through that. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> that was all of my frustration finding out that Kalkstein could actually have been talked or uh, Raymond could be talked to um, sooner than what we did. All right, wolf pelt in the making. Ooh, that's kind of sad, huh? I wonder. Remember the gravekeeper, grave cemetery guy? Okay, no. Um, he's looking for dog fat. I was wondering if they would be on wolves, but they are not. Oh, well. We'll get some wolf pelts. Maybe we'll give them to John Pierre. Wouldn't that be funny? We collect... Ooh, a fang. Don't want that. If uh, we collect all the all these wolf pelts and don't give it to John Pierre, just kind of out of spite of just being, just being obnoxious. Um, I was saying something before those wolves caught my attention. Dodge. What did I dodge? Did you did y'all see that little whoop? I dodged something. What, I'm, oh, I'm, it's a wolf. Boy. Get over here. What the heck was I saying before that? Oh, well. Apparently it wasn't that important. Great. Can I not? There we go. Wolf pelt for John pierre Sean pierre will be pleased. Okay, I have oh, so many. Is that an obelisk? No, it's a campfire. Campfire, campfire, campfire. Are we sure, though? I can't zoom in. <laughs> Tracking canceled. Well, screw you. No, I don't want that one. What is this? I can't click it. I can't click it. Oh, my ass. Wait, non-human camp. That's it. Great. <laughs> Great. Okay. We are moving to another obelisk. So, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> this, ooh, episode title. So far, we are seeking things. Seek and destroy? Well, we haven't destroyed anything yet. Um, seek and gently place in the 
obelisk. I know what I was talking about before Sean Pierre and his wolf pelts. Um, which side of the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, bother. You know what? I don't care about drowners. Hey, there's an obelisk! <laughs> is that the... I don't think that was the one we were looking for, is it? Definitely not. Oh, uh, whoa. Saving! Um, yes. What I was saying before... I'm just gonna take these guys down. Just casually... Alright, here we go. <laughs> um... When I was doing my external research. Right. Oh, I clicked away from the screen. Here we go. Okay, dual monitors. Uh, pros and cons. Anyway, drowners aside. Dual monitors aside. Um... I found, to finally conclude my thought, that people were really hung up on the Melitola statue inside the hospital. Melitola? Is it Melitola or is it uh, the other one? Anyway, whatever that shrine was where we had to put like a chicken into the shrine, um, people were like, what do we what, like that? That's the one that's like hung me up forever, you know, and this and that. Like, really? We just kind of like did it. You know, I was like, uh, I don't have anything to offer, really. Well, here's some food. Here's a chicken. <laughs> that was it. Oh, even though I had. Is there a plant right there, too? Oh, no, it's a drowner. Even though I have a new skill now that allows me to take less damage to poison, I don't really feel like dealing with plants. I really feel like just. Uh, finishing this quest and moving on. Apparently we have to kill Calxteen, which kind of sucks. Man, when we first met, I thought he was a great dude. I thought he was so cool. But he played us, apparently. If we trust Raymond, I don't really trust Raymond. I think he's setting us up, but at this point, I'm just kind of going with it. Um, why is this pulsating? Journal. I don't know. Oh, because we have something new. I must place the zero. Okay, let's enter the tower. We will enter the tower. Th this tower specifically. Uh, oh, shit. Did we do it? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, we have two more to go. All right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Everybody frick off. <laughs> uh, okay, come on now. Come on. Combat in the Witcher. I'm gonna die. I died. And I didn't say for a long time. I'll see you back in a minute. Yeah. What? Huh? Okay, we're back. We just have one more, and there is a crowd of people behind me, specifically drowners. There you go. Um, all right. So I actually uh, had to do that a couple times because I kept uh, dying. So, yeah. It's been, it's been a process. So that one guy who uh, was watching just to see where all the locations are, I'm sorry. I forgot to restart the recording um, for the second to last one. So you know where nine of them are. Okay, so we're going to drop this in. We're going to run for our lives. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! Ah! I guess I have to fight those things. I wonder if I can just go to the cutscene before it happens. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! No! Wrong sword! Wrong sword! Wrong sword! Group style. Oh my gosh! Wrong sword. Is this gonna be it? No way! No way! No! I refuse! Oh, I refuse! Why can't I attack? <laughs> oh my gosh, we made it! We made it! Oh my gosh, there's something over there. I'm going to... Oh no! Oh no! I bet you there's a plant that got me. Um, You know what? I'll keep that in. I'll meet you back here in a second. <laughs> Oh, by the way, hey, this is the, this is the second to last one. I was just I was just running through it, but hey, this is uh, 
I'm pretty sure from the first clip, it's been so long now, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I forgot to record last time. Well, here we go. It's right there. <laughs> and then you run. Okay, great. I'll see you uh, after I drop off the last one. Bye. All right, and here's the last one. It is just on the other side of the tower. Yeah, if they're... What's he saying? The spell must be working. The tower door should be open. I can't wait to see Kolkstein's reaction. Get off me. Um, yeah. We gotta go talk to our good pal Kalkstein now. Uh, okay, I don't know what what's happening. Just let me out of here. Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, do we have to talk to Kalkstein or do we go to Raymond? Can we go to Raymond first? This path leads down there? I thought I had to go back the other way. What's over here? Yeah, the collapsed tower. And he's over there? Really? Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess we circled back the wrong way. All right, can I talk to you or am I still in combat? I'm still in combat. This is where we make our stand, Raymond. Just you and me. Probably mostly me. There's one. <laughs> one drowner coming up. A drowned dead. Go on, Raymond. Let's get him. Raymond, you were doing nothing. To be fair, I'm hardly doing anything either. Man, why is this guy so tough? Why is this guy so tough? No, he's probably not. He just, he just scared me, that's all. And I missed that combo. I really thought I was going to finish him off. <laughs> ah, no! Raymond! What do we do now? Oh, Raymond, get up! Oh, okay, he's good. What? Wow, man. <laughs> oh, drown dead time. I don't want that. I thought, I thought that was the end of the game. <laughs> we get to learn the truth? I'd rather stay focused. Yeah. Should I get the book from the tower? Yes, hurry. We can't let Kalkstein get ahead of us. Okay. I hope that murderer swallowed the bait. I think I made sure of that. Hmm. Okay. Medallion's humming as much as ever. I'm gonna eat a ham sandwich. Sweet. All right, here we go. A smart man would have saved. But you know what? Whatever. I have no idea how long this recording is um, because so much had happened. Uh, so I'm going to save real quick. Don't mind me. But, um, yeah, I have no, I know, I, I have no idea how long I've been recording. The gate of water. Um... Again, there's no texture to it, but uh, maybe that's on my end. Who knows? Hey, we learned Axie. Uh, you learned Axie sign. Yeah, it. Uh, okay, temporary allies. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much what Axie did in the other games. So cool. Um, what do I do? Uh, Raymond. Oh, there's a there's a trunk. Let's see what kind of junk's in the trunk? Oh, it's a crate. Whoa. Hey, that's probably what we need. Um, I'm going to take all of this. A strawberry? Yes. What is this? Red meteorite. Weapon upgrade. Baby, baby. -ba. Diamond dust. Okay. Sweet. Oh, my inventory. Oh, my poor inventory. Come on. Uh, gold ring? I thought I had some of these. Um. Dang it. Um, excuse me for a second while I read these books and then immediately drop them. All right, that's a book. Great. I have to go over here and click that button. Um, read this book. Great. I don't know what it did. Okay, sweet. I can gather things. Uh, read this here. Awesome. Get out of there. Uh, drop. I, I need my gold rings. Oh, my golden rings. If anybody knows where, uh... Ooh, note for me, the potion made of those hearts. Oh, very cool. Um, yeah, if anyone knows where Oh My Golden Rings comes from, uh, man, that's uh, that would be amazing. Oh my gosh, that's also where Keep On Witchering comes from. Um, I didn't steal it. I'm borrowing it. <laughs> there you go. Whenever the Swallow Potion, yes! Whenever... The thing in which I had uh, borrowed 
the phrase keep on witchering whenever that comes back i will be happy to give it back to be clear the the actual line isn't keep on witchering so it's a spin on that anyway things are happening what's going on you'll soon learn the truth <gasps> the Good. truth I was he's not a human what do we do now that we have the treasure from the tower? How do we lure the mage here? He's here already. I only see you. So you say. Oh, shit! To me and you trusted him, so I killed him and assumed his identity. Two birds with one stone. I needed you to open the tower. I don't need you anymore. Dude! Oh, swing and a miss. Oh my gosh, boss fight. Wait. Wait. What the hell was that? What is this? What is this? What are you? What is you? Um, in, in, what does it say? Don't know what it says. Get back here, you. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? I can't move. Can't move. Can't move. Dude. That was awesome. I can't believe that was the twist. I, I've been saying for how many episodes now that Raymond isn't who he is, you know? Like, we shouldn't trust him. Uh, but, alas. Now what? Who's that? Oh, the professor! The music's too loud. I can't hear him. Professor, cut the crap and get him. You see, Witcher? Too much water around Vazart if you're comfortable. Fire mage is limited. He needs me to do the wet work. Good. Two worms with one stone. Dude. Oh, wow. Geralt, drink that potion right now. I'm going to ard his ass away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everything's happening. I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. What is happening? Wow. Okay, my computer freaked out for a second there. I don't know what's happening now. Uh. Oh my gosh. What? What? Okay. Yes! Okay. I'm just gonna start whacking. Group style, I guess. I'm using a silver store sword, you freaking idiot. Okay. Surely this isn't how this whole thing ends, right? Uh, oh my gosh, I can't move. I can't move. Oh my gosh, I can't move. Like, at all. I, I'm like... Like, oh, what? Okay. Okay. Is, is his life going down? Or not? Okay. You know what? Can I ard? And I missed. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I guess it's going to be group style here. Okay. Is it doing anything? Not really. Okay. Um... Uh, let's ard him down. I guess do some swinging. I guess, is he a swift opponent? You know what? Focus on one first, and then we'll... Oh, man. Okay. Stage one done. That's a sweet sword. Trade quarter. Chapter three, I guess, right? I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can't. It's just music. The music's never been this loud before. All felt the battle in the swamp was the beginning of events that would soon rock Tamaria. Sensing the approaching conflict, both sides were eager to test the enemy. A routine skirmish between patrols erupted into a regular battle, 
Led by unwavering faith, the Knights of the Order showed greater determination and emerged victorious. The Scoia'tael learned that freedom could only be achieved by shedding blood, their enemies, and their own. Azar excluded me from the battle. When Triss woke me, heaps of bodies appeared before my eyes. It was the last time I was able to avoid taking sides. Woo! <laughs> oh, man! Wow. Wow. <sighs> okay. Right before all of that... You're mistaken. I have Ooh, chapter control. three. And not just him. They're all leading out of my hand. I regret that Voltest is away at the summit, but I trust you'll tend to the King's Council. I assume you've resolved... What's her hair? As well. Yes. I made an offer and he accepted. He claims his superiors had similar plans, but we beat them to it. I don't think her hair is supposed to look like that. Men can do nothing but talk and then always claim the initiative. And how is your witcher? Who's that? I should be able to convince him. Don't overdo it. Geralt can be exceptionally perceptive. I know. I must. That's hilarious. I'll contact you when it's all over. <laughs> Also choppy right now. Where was Triss? Did we playthrough? Come on. Come on now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you seem to be at full strength. It must be that unusual witcher's metabolism. Triss, how did I get here? Pure coincidence. I was scanning for magic anomalies and happened upon a false trail set by Kalkstein. You found me in the swamp? Kalkstein's still alive. I don't know. The alchemist is still there, examining solid stone. But he won't find anything. The greater anomalies are here in Vizima. Magic hmm. anomalies? In Vizima? Yes. I'd appreciate it if you could help me figure them out. But back to your health. I thought I was at full strength. You misunderstood me. Physically, nothing's wrong. It's your mind that worries me. Oh yeah, he has amnesia. I keep forgetting that. I raved for hours. I had no choice but to read your thoughts to learn about your injuries and which poisons you took this time. I'm sure you swallow. <laughs> it was just that. <laughs> your thoughts were quite loud. In any case, I know about your recent adventures. Can you help me? Recover your memory? I doubt anyone can, but there's a small chance... A small chance of what? From what I saw, I think you would benefit by creating a stable personality. Meaning? Geralt, please, this is important. Just limit the psychobabble. You need to take a stand on the world's problems. It doesn't matter what position, just that you choose one. Hmm. A strong identity may help restore your memory. Can't you just tell me what you saw? No. I don't want you turning into my vision of Geralt. I want you to decide for yourself who you are, without looking back. I shouldn't take an interest in the past? Exactly. Your memory should return in due course. We'll see. Geralt. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, I think that's going to probably do it for this time. Um, who are you talking to in the mirror? Let's see who that was. To through the mirror. You heard me? Ah, oh, sorceress business. I didn't recognize it. It might have been Kira. I had to make a few Kira Metz. To learn about Metz. Yeah. You could. Trust me. It was nothing important. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see what these. Various things can cause them, but more importantly, they can be the cause of true evil. When I last felt this way, you and a sorceress were trying to capture a genie, destroyed half a city. A sorceress. You probably have no recollection, but a lot hung in the balance. Why don't you say Yennefer? You know who Yennefer is. I have some magic sensors that need to be placed around Vizima. They'll help us locate the anomaly source. Fetch quests. All right, give me the sensors. At least that will uh, help us figure out the uh, trade district. Right. Give me the so sensors. That's cool. I'll take care of it. Always eager to please. What are friends for? Hmm. I saw a perfect wall cavity in the trade quarter near Town Hall. Place one okay. there, a second in the temple quarter near the entrance to the sewers. And oh, the yeah. We know what that is. Cemetery. 
It's, a, it's like a bull thing on the wall. Bull head. Is most effective in these cases. Okay. Uh, How did she get here, and then we'll end the episode. Long story. When you men went chasing around, which proved effective. By some miracle, I decided to look for Salamandra using unconventional methods. Any results? Very good ones. You'll learn it all in. Does she look a lot different from the first episode? To get this information, hmm. uh. I have to agree not to tell you. Patience, Witcher. Okay, I'll see you later. later. See you. Oh, I nearly forgot. What? Luvarden, a merchant, wants to see you. He hosts banquets at the new Nericord. Luvarden? I don't like banquets. I feel like we met him already, didn't we? I don't know. Including Princess Ada, whose curse you lifted? Apparently, she's slightly obsessed with you. I'll think- Ada's here? I'll be there. All right, I'm convinced. Maybe I can gather some information. What? Six this evening. Here's the pass that makes you official in the trade quarter. Okay, a pass. Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. Hmm. How did I miss that? It only covers the trade quarter, which you haven't entered. So how do these passes work? Only the quarter's residents are allowed to move about. I have a house here, so I was able to get a pass. Hmm. So what do I do? Well, I registered you as residing here. Falsely, of course. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll see you later. Wow. I should offer to help Triss. Okay. Maybe I should talk to Triss about the problems with my psyche. Uh, uh, perhaps speaking with people who once knew me will help me recover my memory. Oh my gosh, I have a place with three magical sensors. Yeah, we'll probably do that one next. Um... A banquet. Cool. And King's Men. Uh, emergency to clear. I don't mind to move around. I don't have any trouble. Wow. 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 This went from a simple, just, we're going to um, uh, collect these stones for Calcstein to all of this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, that will do it for this episode of Witcher Wednesdays. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week to explore the Trade District, which I'm so excited about. I was really tired of the Temple District and the Swamp. So we're going to leave that behind us. We're moving on. Chapter 3 is here. We are over halfway through the Witcher 1 right now. That is sick. Oh, man, it's been a road. <laughs> anyway, everybody, I'll see you next time on Witcher Wednesdays. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Watch the other shows on the channel. Until next time, keep on witchering. Extra thick!